Hey everybody. Today I thought that I would change up the pace a little bit in my gear talk video and talk a little bit about what keeps me fueled to get out and that is um, backpacking meals. So throughout the years I think I've tried every single brand of backpacking meals. Um, they're either generally speaking dehydrated or freeze-dried so they're really lightweight um, nothing really can go bad until you've rehydrated them and so they're shelf stable for a really long time which means that you can keep them in your backpack for long expeditions um, and just the main factor is the weight really um, they weigh almost nothing usually so um, Throughout all the years of trying different dehydrated meals and backpack ready meals, the huge standout to me has always been Heather's Choice. Um, their food is super duper tasty and their company values are really excellent. And um, I've just always really enjoyed what Heather's Choice has going on. And um, this year they decided to sponsor my work, which has been totally game-changing not only for my trail nutrition and backcountry nutrition which I mean if you do this a lot you know how that can get kind of not super healthy really easily um, so it's really allowed me to stay feeling fresh and healthy when I'm out in the wilderness um, but it's also saved me an incredible amount of money just in full transparency and that has allowed me to um, stay out in the field way longer, um, commit to longer stretches of time, which is when you're doing research in the field, having that time and extended time makes the whole entire world of difference. Um, and so I'm very um, grateful to Heather's Choice for believing in my work and caring about my work on top of the fact that I probably would have a backpack full of Heather's Choice for all these trips anyways just because I really, really love their food and their company values. Um, Heather's Choice is based out of Alaska and they actually were a really, really tiny company and I don't even know if they technically were like a real official company. And then they had a Kickstarter and their Kickstarter was really successful and they launched what we now know as Heather's Choice. Um, Heather is a real person and she's a really nice person and so it's kind of neat that um, this woman-owned, woman-started company based out of Alaska has become as popular as they've become and as trustworthy as they've become because it is no easy feat to start and run a business out of some of these more or less rural places. Um, even if it's a big city in Alaska, it still is Alaska and it would be so much easier to do this kind of thing say in Denver or Salt Lake City or Santa Fe, some of these cities where um, it's kind of a given that if you're in the outdoor industry, you would likely be from those places. So um, I think it speaks volumes about the quality of Heather's Choice um, that they have found such success being based out of Alaska. So this is by no stretch of the imagination a full lineup of their products. Um, I have been using Heather's Choice every single week from, boy, kind of from March. Um, and so I have eaten a lot of the meals. Um, I try to save a lot of my favorites kind of for the tail end of expedition season. But um, obviously I have very strong favorites and I love to gobble those up right away. This is my dog Bivy, in case none of you know who Bivy is. He is a crazy boy. Um, he is a Great Dane Pitbull mix. And yeah, sometimes he's in my videos. <laughs> so um, I picked out some of my favorite Heather's Choice meals that I have left, but I just wanna say um, my very, very all-time favorite Heather's Choice meal is a breakfast meal and it's the Swiss muesli, I believe it's called. And I might not be saying muesli right. That's like a word that I read, but I don't ever say it out loud or hear it said out loud. Um, it is so beyond delicious. Um, you can put boiling water in it and it takes probably 
five minutes to cook and that's at high elevation. I think normally when I was eating that, I was probably around 12 and a half thousand feet. Um, so it cooks up really quick, but alternatively you can just cold soak it and that takes more like 20 minutes at a high elevation. So either way for a backpacking meal that actually rehydrates super quick. Um, and it, I mean, it is so delicious and such a luxury meal out in the woods or up on a mountain. Um, they use really tasty ingredients. They use whole milk, um, which adds this richness to it that is just really hard to beat. In the whole entire scene of backpacking food, I have never tasted anything as delicious as that. And so you will not see it in this lineup because I ate all of it. Um, likewise, I have one flavor of packaroon left and I think the only reason that I have it is because it has caffeine in it and so I can't just eat it all day long. Um, and so Heather's Choice is really well known for their packaroons, which are just, um, I want to say little macaroons, but they're not even little. They're just regular sized macaroons that are packed really nice. These are the only ingredients and this is kind of across the board. Flavors vary a little bit, but not much ingredients shredded coconut maple syrup organic cocoa powder coconut butter vanilla extract sea salt and then um this is espresso flavored so it has espresso in it but if you get like an almond flavored or blueberry flavored it's gonna have like little dehydrated blueberry pieces um or ground up almonds or what have you so the list of ingredients never really changes other than the one or two flavor ingredients. Um, and I know I said organic cocoa powder, but basically all these ingredients are also organic. Um, and so instead of having um, some of the really sugary um, energy supplements, I think we all know what I'm talking about, uh, gummies, gels, that sort of thing, um, I like to have packaroons. Um, I find that having maple syrup as a sugar instead of refined sugars or cane sugar, um, it is more gentle on my tummy, which is really important when you're in the wilderness. Um, and it just also sticks with me a little bit longer. It has more nutritional value to it. It has, um, you know, actual nutrition to it. It has vitamins, it has minerals. And so you're gonna um, kind of be able to stay on track a little bit easier replenishing your body with um, whole foods instead of ultra processed and refined foods. And that's where the packaroon really shines as a trail snack. Um, and kind of just, I'm definitely guilty of just eating packaroons kind of whenever I need a healthy snack and don't want to do anything about that, but eat packaroons. So they're just a really nice snack that you can feel pretty good about, even if you're not burning a bunch of calories. Um, it just is a really nice snack. Um, and all the flavors are super, super good. Um, any of their almond based flavors, I think are phenomenal. And um, there was like an orange dreamsicle one or something that I had gotten and that was super good. Um, those are my favorites, but again, they're all really good. The espresso actually does have caffeine in it. I know a lot of coffee products like don't actually seem to give you that hit of caffeine. This does. Um, so if you like that or can handle it in the evenings, I can't. I'm like a little bit sensitive in the evenings. So yeah. So yeah, that's all I have to say about packaroons, I guess. They're super good. Um, so Heather's choice for their meals are really allergy friendly, um, which is awesome. So this is one of their breakfasts. This is one of my favorite breakfasts that they have. This is second um, to that muesli for me. Um, this one contains dairy and a handful of them do, but they also have dairy free options. Um, there's this and then I think the other one is a blueberry flavor. Um, which is super delicious. And I like that they utilize buckwheat in some of these instead of just oats. Now, all of their products are, I believe, I'm almost positive, everything that they make is gluten-free. Um, 
even they have a really delicious spaghetti with marinara sauce and that uses gluten-free noodles um and it, all of their meat selection is also either wild caught or organic or like this grass-fed um and i mean across the board that's the case and so you're getting really um high quality products and also um you know ethical products um i know that we are not all meat eaters and that is uh not a problem with heather's choice i have two of their meat free options um the african peanut stew is like my favorite thing in the world and again no meat in this guy um and the only allergen situation any of you may have it looks like would be peanuts um and so this is going to be meat free this is going to be dairy free this is going to be coconut free this is going to be um something that uh like far and wide people can eat even if they have some food sensitivities or food allergies um i don't find this particularly spicy and so for me i like to add a little bit of heat to it but if you are sensitive to heat don't be afraid of the african peanut stew it's super super good um this lentil soup is totally allergen free um you might have a little niche allergy um but generally speaking most people could eat this um this is a really good um, veggie option for when you're out. It can be hard to get a lot of vegetables some of the time out in the wilderness. And this is a really solid choice to kind of make up the difference or lack that you might be experiencing. Um, you can also dehydrate your own chicken or get dehydrated chicken and add that to this. And it's super yummy um, to make it more into a chicken soup. So. This is a really good go-to, and I um, I really try to always add at least a few of these to my lineup because of um, the veggie content. It makes a big difference. These have a lot of fiber. Um, there's lentils, and that's really helpful in the backcountry too to get some fiber. Um, these are two of the grass-fed beef options that I pulled. It's their chili and their spaghetti. Um, both of them have really reasonable ingredients. Their ingredients aren't gonna get you sick. And generally speaking, there's nothing that you would have like a terrible allergy to in these. Um, I think that the spaghetti is probably one of the very best backpacking meals I ever eat. Um, I don't eat spaghetti at home. It's not the kind of thing that I like to eat unless I'm like very consistently needing calories. Um, not to say that there's a lot of calories in this, but when I make a whole pot of it at home, there are so many calories in it um, and I can't control myself. So I like the Heather's Choice spaghetti. Um, it's gluten-free, it uses grass-fed beef. It's 560 calories for the whole packet, um, which I think is more than reasonable for a meal like this. So many times you're either getting a double meal and you're looking at 800 to 1,000 something calories, or you're looking at something that's like, they consider it like a one day, one time meal. And um, it's like not enough calories to warrant that. It's like 300 to 400. So it feels good to have a meal that's like meal sized and not too much and not too little. Um, and I just think like this actually just kicks ass. It tastes super good. And this also cooks up super quickly. Um, on my last trip, I was at 13,000 feet when I made this and it took maybe 15 minutes to fully hydrate with boiling water. Um, and I didn't have anything kind of to insulate it. It was just sitting on the tundra on its own and it took that quickly to hydrate. Um, it's got zucchini and mushrooms, which is really nice. Those are not two things that I really eat super regularly when I'm at home. So even that kind of makes it be kind of a special treat. Um, and it just, it tastes super good. Like when I make spaghetti, it doesn't taste that way. So I really like it. Um, their chili again is super, super good. 
Um, it's not as veggie heavy, but it has um, beans in it, which adds some protein and some fiber. It's got grass fed beef, and then it has some bell peppers, 520 calories for this guy. Um, and I noticed that this one does take a bit longer to cook. Um, I would say at the elevations I'm working in, probably between 20 to 30 minutes. And usually I leave it on for about 30 minutes just cause you're never gonna over hydrate a meal um, by letting it sit. And that to me just ensures that the whole thing is gonna be really nice and super scrumptious and no crunchy bits. Um, this is one of my favorites as well. Um, and probably this is my last one that I have all the way through um, whenever expeditions stop for the year. So I'm like coveting this one meal because I don't have as many of them. Um, so yeah, one of the meals that's my very favorite that I think is everyone's favorite because it's sold out a lot is the sockeye salmon stew. Um, I believe that's what it's called. It's delicious natural, amazing smoked sockeye salmon. Um, and you better believe I ate those all right away. Um, but that's kind of what I would consider the Heather's Choice Classic. Um, it's salmon from Alaska. It is something that I think if you visit Alaska, you absolutely wouldn't leave without trying some of their smoked salmon. And um, that's kind of what that meal is all about. It's super delicious. And something that I experience when I'm really exerting myself out in the wilderness is that I lose my appetite. Um, the harder I work, the less of an appetite I have. And it's extremely hard for me to make myself eat. Um, and I find the creamy nature and not having to like chew very much, the salmon stew is like really easy to eat. It packs a protein punch that's really helpful. It's full of really good fats and just enough carbs to really um, satiate without over satiating, which can be a very real problem um, to just not be able to eat. And you need to eat, it's super important. Um, so that's kind of a go-to of mine. Um, so yeah, this was my little rundown of Heather's Choice. They are a very um, responsible, company where conservation matters are concerned, where ethics are concerned. They are woman owned. They are a small company doing big things. And I have been so incredibly lucky to have them on board as a sponsor this year um, for my work. It has been an incredible gift. So if you guys are looking for your next adventure meal and you haven't checked out Heather's Choice yet, you would absolutely be doing yourself a courtesy to check them out. Um, for sure, pick up some packaroons. I think Heather's Choice is even available in REI now. Um, so if you have any curiosity about trying their products, give them two thumbs up, um, both as a company and as super delicious makers of food. So um, yeah, I hope that this could help inform some choices for you for your next adventure. And I hope y'all have a really good weekend.